It's one more light week, but heavy on intriguing matchups, and we've got the look ahead at both in this week's NCHC Morning Skate, powered by The Rink Live. For the second straight week, there are just two series on the NCHC schedule. We'll begin in the Rockies, where number two North Dakota faces the up-and-coming Colorado College Tigers, currently 15th and 16th in the polls. Both teams are coming off by weeks. The last time out, the Fighting Hawks extended their winning streak to four games and their unbeaten streak to seven with a sweep at Miami on February 2nd and 3rd. In that series, Jackson Blake notched a game-winning goal in overtime and had four assists, while Logan Britt had three goals to lead UND to a 5-4 overtime win and a 4-1 triumph. Blake and Britt earned NCHC forward and co-defenseman of the week for their efforts. The Fighting Hawks enter the weekend second in the NCHC in both goals for and against, while Blake is fourth in the conference and seventh in the NCAA with 39 points. Colorado College last played on February 2nd and 3rd as well, taking four of six points from St. Cloud State in an overtime loss and a win in the Springs. In the 5-3 victory in the series finale, Tommy Middleton had two goals and an assist, while Noah Laba continued his fine sophomore season with a goal and a helper. Laba's got a team-best 24 points, while his 15 goals are tied for sixth in the NCHC, including seven in his last seven games. His classmate Caden Imberico leads the NCHC with a 914 save percentage and was named a semifinalist for the Mike Richter Award on Wednesday. CC will try to burnish its home record against UND. The Tigers are just 7-6-1 at Robeson Arena, but 9-3 everywhere else. When these two teams met in Grand Forks in early December, CC stunned UND, pulling out consecutive 3-2 overtime wins with Lava scoring one of his NCHC best seven game-winning goals in the series opener. Some familiarity there. Uh, we ended the first half uh, uh, of the season at home here against them. Um, both went to overtime and you know, uh, I think we learned a lot as far as our team and learned a lot, you know, what their team brings to the table as well. So uh, a lot of familiarity, uh, knowing it's the last eight games before the playoffs here that mean a lot. And uh, going back on the road, which we just came off of in Miami. So, uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're excited to get going again after the break. In our other series this weekend, number five Denver travels to Minnesota Duluth in a battle of two teams who also had buys last week. The Pioneers last played at home on February 2nd and 3rd, splitting a series with Western Michigan. DU won 3-2 in the first game before losing 7-2 the following night. The Pios sport the nation's top offense, averaging 4.82 goals per game. It's no surprise that they also have two of the top three scorers in the country. Massimo Rizzo ranks second nationally with 44 points and leads the country with 34 assists in just 28 games. Jack Devine is third in the NCAA with 42 points and is tied for third with 21 goals. DU has dropped three of its last four games and was swept at North Dakota on January 26th and 27th in its last road series. Prior to the bye week, Minnesota Duluth was swept at Omaha on February 2nd and 3rd, losing 5-1 and 4-3. Freshman Matthew Perkins picked up NCHC Rookie of the Week honors for his work in that series. He had two goals and an assist to earn his second weekly nod. Sophomore Ben Steves is tied with DU's Divine for the NCHC lead with 21 goals. The Bulldogs have won three of their last four games at Amsoil Arena and have gone 6-4-3 and three on home ice this year. This is the only series of the season between the two teams. Last year, Denver took three of the four meetings, including a pair of overtime wins in Duluth. This week's weekly award winners are all from teams who have the week off. Western Michigan, which earned four of six points against Omaha last weekend, picked up three of the awards. Sam Colangelo was the NCHC Forward of the Week for a third time for tallying two goals and two assists against the Mavericks. Freshman Alex Bump was the NCHC Rookie of the Week. He also had two goals and two assists, including three points in Western's 6-1 win on Friday and another assist in Saturday's 3-2 overtime loss. Cameron Rowe was the Goaltender of the Week, making 45 saves in the two games for a 9-18 save percentage. The other weekly award went to St. Cloud State's Dylan Anhorn, who is the NCHC Defenseman of the Week. He scored both game-winning goals in the Huskies' 5-2 and 3-1 wins at Miami. Now to the NCHC standings. St. Cloud State has moved to within a point of first place North Dakota, although UND has two games in hand and has yet to lose in regulation in conference play. Western Michigan leaped to third with its four-point weekend, but this week, CC and DU will make up those games in hand, which means the standings could look much different by next week. 
Again, there are just four games on the calendar this weekend. Friday's tilt between Denver and Minnesota Duluth can be seen live nationally on CBS Sports Network. The other three games are available on nchc.tv, the official streaming platform of the conference. And visit nchchockey.com this weekend for the latest news, scores, stats, and standings. Twelve standings points are up for grabs this weekend, and now you're ready for the pursuit of those points. Thanks for watching the NCHC Morning Skate, powered by The Rink Live.